Thank you for inviting me to be here today to discuss our review, Predicting Response to Immunotherapy and Metastatic Renal Cell Carcinoma, recently published in Cancers. The purpose of this review was to critically evaluate the data currently available regarding the development of predictive biomarkers for the use of immunotherapy and advanced renal cell carcinoma. Over the last several years, we've seen significant improvement in overall survival with immunotherapy-based combinations. While immunotherapy has led to complete responses and durable partial responses for some patients, the majority of patients will eventually develop progression of disease despite these advances. Therefore, there is a need to develop predictive biomarkers to help determine which patients are most likely to benefit from immunotherapy and immunotherapy-based combinations. This review focuses on eight categories of candidate biomarkers, pd one expression by immunohistochemistry, RNA gene expression profiling, tumor mutational burden, single DNA mutations such as in PBRM1, the presence of human endogenous retroviruses, the gastrointestinal microbiome, sarcomatoid histology, and peripheral blood biomarkers such as the neutrophil to lymphocyte ratio. One of the commonly asked questions regarding this review is the role of pd one expression and tumor mutational burden in advanced renal cell carcinoma. While pd one has had success as a biomarker in some tumor types, such as in non-small cell lung cancer, the impact of this biomarker has been more variable in RCC. From the initial Checkmate 214 trial investigating the combination nivolumab plus ipilimumab, pd one expression appeared to enrich for response to immunotherapy. However, it is important to note that even patients who were pd one negative still had significant responses to immunotherapy, even including some complete responders. The clinical trials Checkmate 214, Keynote 426 investigating pembrolizumab plus exitinib, and Javelin Renal 101 investigating avelumab plus exitinib all explored pd one using different pd one assays 